Welcome to the DeFi Bridge. Today I wanted to provide a little more context than I usually do to uh, the blockchain activity, which I think I'm going to start calling the developer activity now. Um, I found an somewhat interesting, it's not very interesting, it's just rather short and it's not too complicated, smart contract, um, when I was looking through Etherscan today. So I'm going to just, you know, kind of run anyone through how they could go about deploying that on their own and how they can actually, you know, today create a smart contract on Ethereum um, in, you know, maybe under 30 minutes, right? So the basic tools that we're going to use, uh, we're obviously using Ethereum. We're going to connect to Ethereum and we're actually going to use the test net, um, one of the test nets. So Ethereum has numerous test networks, right? Here's the main. Um, and they, it's got Robston, Covan, Rinksby, uh, Rinkby, and Gurley, and then you could create other ones, right? Um, but we're going to use Robston for right now. So you select it there, and that's how you connect with Ethereum. We're going to use remix.ethereum.org. This is all you got to type in here to get there, um, which is an IDE, so it's an interactive development. Um, I'm guessing uh, it's, the E stands for experience or... Um, Environment probably, yeah, uh, environment. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I found this address, or I mean this contract, and I am actually going to bring it on over. Now this, this contract, which I'm going to show you here in just a second, this one on Ethereum is actually holding 705 Ether. So I'm not saying that this smart contract is perfect or that it should hold anyone's Ether in it. I'm just showing you simply how you could go about you know, deploying a, a smart contract on Ethereum. So, you know, this might have some kind of a bug in it or something. It can be exploited somehow. So don't, you know, don't put any money you can't afford to lose into it. But uh, it's it's worth trying out, and especially on the testnet where you can get free uh, testnet Ether using uh, faucet.robston.be, um, which I'm going to have in the description below on um, the YouTube video. So you would just put in your address, you know, like, this is my address right here. Copy to clipboard. Now I just did this earlier, so I would just go like this and then send me ten uh, test ether, and it would typically go. Um, it's going to say I can't because I just did it ten minutes ago. But so you'd use that to get a little bit of test ether to play with, and then come over here to remix. And I think I copied this. I think I did. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a new file, then I'm going to call it lock. 1.sol, so SOL stands for Solidity. I'm going to create that. And then I'm going to copy in, oh, oh yeah, because I did my address. Okay, so i got to come over here and copy just from Pragma down um, there. And bring it over here to Remix, Command V, throw it in there. Um, and so now it's here. And so here's a couple things, right? So I mentioned you could be on Testnet. Um, so we're on testnet right now. Like you could be on mainnet. You know, if you want to use real ether to deploy this and to put into a smart contract, you can more than um, easily do it on mainnet using these tools as well. But so for the purpose of this, I'm just going to use um, testnet. And so Pragma Solidity, it's got 5.15, perfect right here. Okay, so that's going to run. So I'm going to just do a command save, um, and it compiled. And now the next step is deploying it. And this is, I always do this, but so now I'm going to have to go back and resave it because I want to use injected web3, right? This is going to pull in this address, my 0x3e from right here that has the 20, almost 26 ether. Um, so I'm going to be interacting with Ethereum using that. And I'm going to just resave this just to make sure. Okay, we're on Robston 3, perfect. And I'm just going to, you know, throw 5 ether into this contract, right? Um, this is the lock contract. It goes through a different, the gist of it is it's got an owner. The owner deploys the contract and then it takes this number right here, this UNT256, which represents the amount of time that it, the Ether has to stay locked in this account until someone can withdraw it, right? Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to lock Ether up and then wait for that time and then pull it back out. <clears throat> and so here, um, I'm going to go owner. Well, I want the owner of it to be me. So when I pull the ether out or so that I can transact with it, um, I get the ether and I can use it. Um, and then the unlock time, I'm just going to do 10 just to make sure that we um, get the, can get the ether almost right away. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly what that 10 um, represents. And, and is it a block? Is each you know, number a block or whatever? I, I, I'm still figuring that out. 
Um, but so now I'm going to hit transact. Oh, and I got to change this to ether. So this needs to say ether if I plan to put five ether in there. If it would have been way, it would have been like 0 .0000 all the way to like 18 or 17, and then it would say five. Um, so 0 .000 is five, right? So anyway, I'm going to transact here. Um, this is going to, you know, deploy the contract using my uh, Ethereum address right here, and I'm going to, you know, put the gas price just up to 10 here just to make sure it goes through rather quickly. I'm going to confirm that. It comes up down here, um, so I can look at that, and there will be a deployed contract right here, right? So I'm going to pull open uh, this Ether scan. Soon enough, this will be ready to rock and we can see it, but for right now, we can just pull this down and say, so now um, when this goes through, yeah, the, contra uh, the from is my address, so I created the smart contract. The contract address lives right here, so I'm going to click on that, and it brings me over here and look at that five ether in the contract, um, and it was created. So now it's just I'm waiting for those you know ten whether it's ten blocks or ten seconds whatever it represents milliseconds um, to withdraw, which I'm going to do by hitting transact. So I'm going to hit um, transact right now. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking so it's going to do a fallback, and I'm thinking it's going to go through and it's going to give me my ether back. Let's see. And we can easily look at this. So this was the smart contract. This is its page, its ledger. So now that it's confirmed, when I go ahead and refresh this, there will be another transaction right here. There we go, 12 seconds ago. And what this did was it moved the 5 Ether from the contract, the 5-6 contract, back to the owner's address, which is 0x3EC, right? Um, which is me. So now, so if theoretically, or what I hypothetically, what I did there was I put five ether into a contract, um, let it sit there for a little bit, and you know reasons for having something like this, you know, it could be like a, an escrow or a trust or you know a will or something like that where you specify when someone can then go and withdraw this money. And um, but for this purpose, just to show you both sides, I just put five ether in, five test ether, and then pulled it back out. And now I and so if I go back to my account, I don't have 20, you know, 20 point something. I have 25.99 minus the gas costs. Um, so everything takes a transaction fee in Ether. So just know that. So like when you go and try this on your own, you have to deploy with something that has Ether. So use use the um, testnet faucet to your advantage. And yeah, it's it's really that simple. So you know, you start up here, you create it, uh, you command S or you know, uh, right click save. And you make sure everything goes. It gives you the green check mark. That doesn't mean it's perfect code, but it means it'll work on chain. It might still have a bug or something. And then you go ahead and deploy. Um, and you usually have to put a little bit of value in here. Some smart contracts you don't. Um, just depends on the purpose. And yeah, and that's it. So um, hope you guys like this video, and I hope you go ahead and try you know something like this out and deploy something on a testnet and see what Ethereum's all about. All right.